riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw a plowing through the ragged sky. And up a cloudy draw. The ghost heard in the in sky. The sky. That's right. Welcome to the Weird Show. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we are Wednesday, the 27th day of July 2011. I'm Russell Dowden, publisher and editor of Weird Magazine, and your host through this fast-moving, unexpected journey of total weirdness that we do call The Weird Show. Uh, glad to be broadcasting this week. Um, special thanks to our media partners, the guys over at Coolabyte, uh, with the world's fastest uh, video encoding technology. Coolabyte, just taking a quick shout-out to our guys over there at Coolabyte, help make this broadcast possible. Uh, again, uh, welcome to The Weird Show. Uh, tonight, joining me live via... Uh, Skype, uh, voice Skype, as well as phone, um, is uh, Weird Magazine contributors, uh, Spirit Investigators. Uh, Spirit Investigators uh, joining us tonight. Fox and Kay Lee are joining us. Uh, Fox from South Texas and Kay Lee from the very lovely Louisville, Kentucky. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Very cool. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's say hi to Fox. Fox, how you doing there, my friend? I'm doing great. All how right, you, all right. Doing, Russell. Cool, cool. Let's cue uh, down downgrade our Blues Brothers Ghost Riders there. And uh, yeah, good to have Fox and Kay Lee, a part of the the Weird Show tonight here in San Marcos, Texas. Again, as I mentioned. Um, Kaylee and, and Fox uh, with Spirit Investigators. I've got the, their uh, uh, YouTube channel of, on screen right now for our producer to uh, let the viewers check that out. And, and also the guys contribute monthly to Weird Magazine in a segment that's uh, featured very early on in uh, every magazine called uh, uh, Just Simply Ask Spirit Paranormal. And uh, maybe we could cue in a shot of this. I just want to just want viewers to check this out. This is a this was the piece here done on Weird Magazine on reincarnation and just kind of some of the spiritual aspects of things. And, and this was a month before last. And Anyway, Spirit Paranormal contributing every month to Weird Magazine. And uh, we thought, well, what the heck? Let's get the guys not only contributing in from the magazine side, but let's get them on the Weird Show and, and uh, have, a, have a discussion with them, maybe take some phone calls. And, and let's talk to Paranormal. And, and, and I guess... I'll ask you first, Fox, and then Kay Lee can chime in as well. Um, what, uh, what, what kind of investigations do you guys do? How did you get invo involved in, in this kind of uh, fringe topic, if you will? And uh, just tell us a little bit in general about uh, Spirit Investigators, Fox. Well, we're, uh, we're a paranormal group here out of South Texas. We're out of McAllen. And uh, we're specialized primarily, well, our focus primarily on historical sites, but... Uh, we're open to investigations for anybody out there who's having paranormal activity and uh, they want to find out more about what's going on or, you know, uh, they want to inquire about it. So we're available for free investigations throughout the valley. And um, they can look us up anytime on Facebook.com slash Spirit Investigators. Mm -hmm. And yeah. also check out our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash Spirit Investigators. Yep, and I have those right up here, in fact uh on uh on cue in fact uh, we could we could possibly if you wanted to play a play a clip for y'all at some point if you if you'd like us to play one of your clips just for the viewers uh Kaylee what uh, uh what types of investigations do you guys do uh do, do you uh do uh do you do you know ghosts what seems to be the most popular type of investigations for y'all Kaylee well uh ghosts you know the spirit uh, that are around certain areas, uh, well, they're everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, people aren't necessarily aware, so we go to those who are aware. <laughs> <laughs> do you do exorcisms or things of that nature? Is that more involving a preacher, or is there, is that, do y'all get into that, Fox, as well? We haven't had any cases, 
Um, so, well, at least recently, we haven't had any cases, but if it would depend on on the case and if we have to get uh, usually we we want to encourage uh people to go through their church or through their pastors okay. or or priests or preachers to see if they can help them and um and if if they come through us directly then we uh look at the case and then try to identify what's going on first of all and then we'll go and 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 uh, try to um, look at what we what needs to be done in order to resolve the issue at hand, whatever that may be. So y'all are open to getting giving people advice to to seek out you know whatever spiritual counsel they they may they may. That's have. correct. I mean, that's, that's correct. That's a good we, thing. You encourage that. Right, right. Because a lot of this has to do with the individuals, mm-hmm. and once the individuals call in their higher power, whatever that may be, then that usually is the first front line. Uh, you know, step in defense as far as, um, you know, dampening the activity or clearing the activity. You know, a lot of the times, you know, the fear instilled in people feeds these uh, certain certain entities, and so it, it makes it worse. So a lot of it has to be done on an individual basis. Mm-hmm. And once you eliminate the fear, you more most of the time eliminate the problem. Right on, right on. Um, what are some common misconceptions, Kaylee, that, that people have about spirit entities? And are, are most people skeptic when it comes to this thing, do you find? Or just what are some common misconceptions that, that people have uh, about the spirit realm or ghosts in general? Well, well um, let me first start off with this. Nobody living in this, you know, uh, world really knows what's going on on the other side. Uh, People like me can kind of peek. So Mm -hmm. if you're talking to people who don't even see what I see or anything of that form, they'll say, oh, the glass fell because of, uh, you know, oh, maybe there was uh, wet under or something, whatever. They'll come up with whatever reason, Mm -hmm. and they will not think, maybe there's a spirit trying to get my attention, and that object that it was attached to, moved so that they would know it's me. Hello, here's a sign. Right. So that's one thing. So of course they're skeptical because they want to they are so used to what's uh, tangible what they can touch and they cannot accept, you know, uh, something they cannot see. But that's interesting to me because um, we have emotions. Like you can't see anger. Mm -hmm. You can't see love. And that's something that spirits carry. And so that's, I think there's some kind of uh, connection to that, a uh, strong connection, because that's what they feed off of. Mm-hmm. So I think it goes hand in hand in some way. And Vox, you care to chime in? Well, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that uh, spirit activity is limited or exclusive to purported haunted locations. Mm-hmm. And the truth is, spirits around us everywhere and at all times. Yes. It's just that in certain locations, their their manifestation is more obvious due to certain conditions. And, um, and some people, some people just have the psychic energy to pick up on that more than others. Some people I find are more, uh, uh, I guess, just attracted to to these spirits. Is that fair to say, Kaylee? Um. I would say vice versa. Mm -hmm. They're attracted to spirits, and then the spirits are attracted to them. Ah, I see. Uh, Because, like, in my example, for for me, um, I don't go looking for them. They come looking for me because they know that I can see them or communicate with them. So rather than ignore it, like a lot of people do and pretend, oh, I'm just crazy or maybe I need to go to the doctor, I go with my gut feeling, with my heart, and I say, okay, uh, this person needs to, you know, this spirit needs to communicate, needs to get something across, and I am their voice at this moment in time, so why would I deny them? Okay, so sometimes it's the other way around, like you said, with the, with yes. the spirit. Yes, yeah, so Russell, yeah, I mean, I, let, I me, let me interject here real quick. Yeah, go ahead, Fox. Um, Kaylee is extremely sensitive. I I am one to take everything to the bench. I test everything. I don't I don't take anything at face value, 
anybody who, who goes on, on investigations with me, uh, if they're sensitives, if they're intuitives, I don't, I really don't, you know, I, I, I test them all the time. And Kaylee has proved herself time and time again as being extremely sensitive. So much to the point that in our last investigation, the spirits that we were inquiring about, she was describing them to the T, and they actually came through on EVP, you know, and st stated, you know, how surprised they were that she could actually see them. They were questioning how she was able to see them or perceive them. Wow. So, um... <laughs> it's uh, very interesting what she picks up on. I think that if all of us would activate ten more percent of our brain, uh -huh. we could see way more than than you know than the average person. And it's just it's always here. It's always around us. It's just a matter of perception of opening our third eye and seeing these higher energies, these higher realities of existence that are always around us and always here. Yet we're limited as far as our perception goes. Um, what, so. I'd, what I'd like to do, uh, Fox, is I'd like to just for a brief second um, uh, have uh, maybe let's play a little clip from your YouTube page just for viewers. Uh, is that all right? I've got uh, there's a minute 34 clip here. Uh, the first one. Uh, Certainly, that would be great. Uh, hopefully, the sound of, quality comes through. Yeah, yeah, and I think the uh, qual the sound will coming in from YouTube will also come in. Your audio will come in through it, so we'll just ask you to be quiet as we play this clip. So here, just check this out. This kind of tells you guys a little bit about uh, Spirit Investigators, and this is from again their YouTube channel. Check this out. On the night of February 8th, 2011, Spirit Investigators traveled to the beautiful and historic Rio Grande City, Texas to meet with its current mayor, Ruben Villarreal, and his assistant to perform a paranormal investigation on the grounds of the beautifully restored Lopez de Jarina housing complex. Founded in 1848, Rio Grande City served as a transfer point for supplies and soldiers during General Zachary Taylor's invasion of Mexico and later became a key steamboat trading post on the border. Later, it served as a fort encampment during the Civil War where many soldiers were stationed and died there. Could this picture captured during the renovation process be one of them? Wow. Huh. That was a, that's a great clip, actually. Um, what is um, this? <laughs> Got something there. Well, basically, what you're looking at is a. Mm -hmm. On that last clip, um, it was the actual. It was a actual apparition that was captured during the renovation process of the Lopez Tijerina housing complex out in Rio Grande City, where the mayor has his office, and that that particular picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it frozen up here for you now. Hello? You there, Fox? Okay. Yes, I sure am. Yeah. So this is, uh, is this a ghost captured here, or circled? That's correct. And what you're looking at is literally a Civil, uh, Civil War soldier from the back. And if you look closely at the picture, mm -hmm. you can actually see through him. There are, there's parts in his back that are actually dematerializing. You, you can see the bushes on the other side. Yeah, right here you can see the, the bushes. Also, if you, right, if you look closely on the upper right hand, the upper right portion of his neck, you can also see that some there's some pieces missing there, and you can see the bushes on the other side also. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It is kind of now, trans, transparent a little there. Right, and you can't see his feet either. Well, uh, what are some of the things that um, are different? Different, and I'll, I'll, we'll get Kaylee to chime in on this as well. Uh, but you know, you got ghosts, you got hauntings, and you got poltergeists. 
And poltergeists, from what I understand, Kaylee, tend to follow a certain energy of a person. Uh, but what are uh, what differentiates a haunting from ghosts, Kaylee? Um, I don't know. Did Fox answer this one? There's so it's very complex. Um, but I think the terminology on this one, Fox would be able to answer a lot better than I would. Yeah, Fox, uh, uh, hauntings and 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 ghosts. I mean, ghosts. In my in my opinion, a ghost is 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 more of an individual experience, and a haunting can can kind of have to do with a a a, a place or a, a battle scene, a, a Gettysburg or or this 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 battleground here. Is that is that true in your research? Well, poltergeist to begin with is a German word for noisy ghost. <laughs> so poltergeist in itself is usually uh, paranormal activity where there is, you know, ruckus, things being thrown around, objects moving. Uh, the drunk you know, uncle that ghost. Right. Well, usually, <laughs> uh, but the case usually in a poltergeist case, it's, it's usually a non-human entity. Mm -hmm. uh, any spirit that's that energized on our dimension to be able to move things around like that and throw things around is usually... Uh, Something's been around a little longer as far as, uh, you know, it's able to manipulate more of the energies and that type of thing. Right. Well, I understand you guys also have a, um, uh, a paranormal show, a uh, radio show on uh, Blog Talk Radio, too. Tell us a little bit about that. That's correct. Um, I am the host of the show, and the uh, name of the show is Spirit Talk, and we uh, broadcast it on blogtalkradio.com slash spiritinvestigators. Yeah, we've got that. Uh, let me get my producer to bring that one up. Here we go. We got it on screen for you. Right, and and we also are doing a video version of it right there on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So we just launched that, and our my main objective when I launched it was to focus on interviewing ex coast to coast guests or previous coast to coast guests. And we were fortunate enough to have our first interview with a five time coast to coast. Uh, guest uh, by the name of red elk oh and yeah so so that kind of put us out there and then uh, we uh, just recently uh interviewed uh a nuclear physicist by the name of dr Kuntz. he's also been on coast to coast uh four or five times and last week mm -hmm. i finally had my my dream interview when i when i started this whole thing russell there was one person that i really wanted to interview and this was john hutchinson right the Canadian scientist mm -hmm. who had, uh, you know, had discovered what's coined the Hutchinson effect back in 1979, and so we—I just interviewed him last week, and again, that's not out yet, but uh, okay. we'll have that soon. Yeah, yeah. So. How did that go? Was that pretty cool? Oh, it was great. Fascinating interview. Uh, we mm -hmm. talked about a lot of things actually, and so. Uh, his good friend, Dr. Kuntz, was also on that interview, so he was able to explain a little bit of the physics behind some of this phenomenon that uh, is created when he's, when he's generating these fields. And, and uh, so it's quite interesting. We'll, we'll have that out to the public soon on, on that blog talk radio. Very cool. On YouTube. Very cool. Um, what are your, uh, Kaylee, let me ask you, what are your thoughts on just the... Uh, the popularity uh, in in pop culture with um, uh, all the ghost shows now uh, that are out there on cable television, we've got a lot of them. There's a lot of investigative type shows now on A and E, on Discovery Channel, on Sci Fi. Uh, does it seem like uh, this ghost searching phenomena is 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 more uh, more readily available in popular culture today? In your opinion, um, I would think that it has always been popular, mm -hmm. always, but because of the internet and because of how fast things are, the technology that is growing, we're able to pass that message along a lot more faster and mm -hmm. to a lot more areas. Um, but I believe that, uh, you know, the kind of the idea of go, you know, uh, has always been a famous topic. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's one uh, of those things that people have always been curious about. Uh, it's been an elusive thing uh uh kind of like 
UFOs or even reincarnation, but even older than those than some of those phenomena as well, I think. Right, and I, I don't mean to change the subject, but I am sitting in this um, place right now that is kind of like secluded in the, in the restaurant, and as you all were talking about the blog talk, I heard a chair move, and there is no one there. <laughs> I turned around, and um, there's nothing. Everything's in place. <laughs> and uh, at today at the hotel, I even picked up on a spirit, and I even described and everything like that to her. And uh, I mean, about her. I'm sorry. And uh, I don't know. It's just it's, it's interesting. What I I mean, I don't I don't go around looking for it, but I can actually pick up. If I'm going to get something mm-hmm. before I arrive, so anywhere, <laughs> even in Louisville, Kentucky, <laughs> yeah, not just not just isolated to the Rio Grande Valley. Here, let's get our phone number up here, Fox, for our uh, viewers if they'd like to chime in and call in. Uh, the The number on the uh, screen is five one two seven five four. 0084. If you'd like to call in and talk with Kaylee or Fox from Spirit Investigators, number here on the phone, uh, on the screen is 512-754-0084. If you've uh, got a question uh, uh, regarding ghosts, paranormal, uh, something ever happened to you like the Freeling family in the 1982 uh, Steven Spielberg classic, Poltergeist, you might want to uh, pick up the phone and chime in on this program because Spirit Investigators is here tonight on the show to talk to us uh, about all things paranormal and um, and ghostly. So, uh, what uh, I just got your um, upcoming uh, edition in uh, the magazine, uh, Fox, uh, just the other day from you, so that piece will be ready on Monday when the magazine prints. Um, what uh, I got, I got to ask you guys. Uh, I know that you capture quite a bit of stuff from this uh, EVP phenomena. Tell uh, tell the viewers what EVP is and uh, and how you guys, what kind of a gear you use to capture uh, this phenomena. Well, uh, EVP uh, is a short. It's an acronym for Electronic Voice Phenomenon, and it was stumbled upon. Well, at least uh, brought to the masses. Well, or to the public in the 50s by a man by the name of Friedrich Jurgensen and Konstantin Raudive. Mm-hmm. And it started off with uh, Jurgensen recording birds out in the wild. I guess say he had a parabolic microphone and some recording equipment, and uh, voices started coming through. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, then uh, accidentally... Well, yes, and uh, Constantine Raudive was actually a psychoanalyst uh, of the day that uh, kind of heard what he was up to and uh, kind of ran with it. So over the course of 20 years of research and experimentation into the world of EVP or electronic voice phenomenon, he uh, apparently had compiled around 70,000 EVPs. Now, this is not very mainstream. A lot of people don't know about it, so I would like to get that the history part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because um, because there's there's some research to this that a lot of people don't know about, but but you know right. this uh, you guys have captured some electronic voice phenomena here. I'm looking on your YouTube channel, and it looks like you've got um, you know some right. software evolved in here, and 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 this clip here shows. Uh, I guess I think Christine is crying. Is that what we hear on the on this clip? Um, in, in that particular one, yes. That's actually one of the um, EVPs we captured at the Lopez de Henina housing complex out of Rio Grande City. That is not a very clear EVP, but it's very interesting in that it appears to be a woman with a, what I, what I call an old English type accent, mm-hmm. a Victorian type accent, and... She seems to be talking also in what's known as backslang, which uh, back in the day people kind of switched the words around and, and went more for the phonetic tone of it versus, you know, the sequence, like we're used to doing it. Uh-huh. And so apparently she says, uh, 
looks like she's making reference to someone crying, and then you hear her kind of go, uh, and then she walks. But as she's walking, you can hear two, you can hear two or three steps. But it sounds like she's got those uh, those boots that had the old horseshoe uh, on the on the heels. Okay. So it sounds like she's it's tapping. Well, well let me ask you, uh, Fox. This clip's about three minutes long. I don't want to play the whole clip. Do you know more or less in this three minute clip where we, where the where it gets good? Just play the first minute. Uh, the last portion of it is just uh, slow down. So oh, okay. Actually, let's go ahead and let's see if we can't get this queued up here and. Here, here, let's let it full screen here. Check this out, guys. Hmm. You hear the footsteps there? Uh huh. And I could hear a woman's voice. <laughs> but listen to her accent, Russell. It's a very proper Victorian yeah. accent. So what we're, what we're thinking is this. Now, this, this, is, this is the kicker. Now, let me tell you. Okay. Yeah, she almost sounds like she's saying... Can I interrupt? Yeah, yeah, go right ahead, Kaylee. We're, we have forgot about you. Because uh, <laughs> I, I have to leave in just a little bit. Okay. But I'm just going to add to this, uh, and then I have to go. But... Um, it sounds like she's saying, which would make sense in that time period. Um, she sounds like she's saying, "I hear Chris keep crying," hmm. ah. or "I hear Christian crying," right? Because that was the one that we thought intent, you know, that we thought that she meant to say. But it, we hear it over and over and over again, and it, like it's very difficult to understand. I understood that it would say. I hear Chris keep crying because, you know, I have an English degree and we had to study stuff like, like you know, Victorian age and stuff like that, you know, throughout my uh, degree, you know, history. So that is what I was confused about. And so it was Fox. And uh, we've played it to other people and said, hey, you know, maybe you hear something else. And, and it's just, it makes sense. Victorian uh, period, that's the way they spoke, especially the sellers or merchants or whatever, and mm -hmm. that's where we picked it up, was where it used to be a, it would sell things there. Fox, what is what some of the, and, okay, and Kaylee, let me address this before before we jump to Fox. Are, do you have to go this time? <laughs> Yes, I do. I'm okay. so sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, we were glad to have you on calling in from Louisville, Kentucky uh, uh, um, the, tonight here on The Weird Show. And uh, we'll finish up the rest of the broadcast with Fox, I guess. Okay, good but, luck. Well, thanks, <laughs> for, thanks, for, thanks, for, thanks for being a part of the show and thanks for your contribution. Again, as always, to Weird Magazine as well. Yes, you have a wonderful uh, evening and uh Take Have care, Kaylee. We'll be in night. touch, okay? <laughs> All right. Some, Take some care. Investigations right. coming Bye. up soon. Bye. -bye. <laughs> All right. There she goes. There's uh, Kaylee calling in uh, with Spirit Investigators all the way from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, but yeah, Fox, um, what's some of the most bizarre stuff you've captured or witnessed uh, uh, since you've been doing this? Oh boy, um, <laughs> that's that's a good question. Um, Well, I mean, you know, we we've seen the typical stuff, you know, things uh, getting thrown around. Right. Um, the shadows. What's made uh, your? What makes foxes? What's made your flesh crawl? The well, weird, you, you, scariest <laughs> thing you've ever seen. Well, you know, uh, Russell, <laughs> I will tell you that. Um, I do all the, the hardcore EVP research, mm -hmm. so I, I use about 10, 15 different methods, all the way from the pioneer type methods with the diodes, I mean, you know, yeah. to the new stuff, to everything in between and everything I could come up with myself. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, as far as the communication, it's, you know, it's it's pretty, you, you know, there's there's so much of it. And... You know, you hear it every day, and you're experimenting with different methods, and you're just hearing different transmissions of all sorts. And it gets to the point where, I guess, over time, you're just, uh, 
you become kind of numb to it. Uh-huh. Uh, you just you just understand that that's just the way that the universe is structured. That there's always been like that. It will always be like that. And uh, nothing really shakes me up anymore, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what, you know, sometimes I get interviewed in newspapers and, 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 and uh, radio stations, and they, they, people ask me, well, do you believe all this stuff you print, Russell? And some of it you got to take with a grain of salt. But, you know, I, I've, I've just, I've heard some pretty crazy things uh, over the years, nine years doing Weird Magazine, and, and and you do get you do get a, a a little into it, and 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 sometimes it just kind of you, you just it just grows on you, and and uh, you get a little desensitized. I guess I could agree with you. Right, right, yeah. You definitely over time just kind of, um, you just kind of see it as something. It, 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 the truth is, when you really delve into it, Russell, it it's no longer paranormal. It's normal. <laughs> this stuff right. is normal. This this is the way things are. It's always been like that. It will always be like this. Spirits are everywhere around us all the time. Mm-hmm. And so it's just it, it becomes pretty much just mundane. It, it becomes as mundane as the wind, you know? It, and so there's nothing to fear, nothing to be scared of. It's always been like that. Well, you know, it's funny because, I mean, uh, uh, we interviewed you here in Weird Magazine a couple of months ago, and then you guys started contributing monthly, and I've got the interview kind of chimed up uh, on screen for viewers to check out. And, you know, the, the, the funny thing is, is, you know, I used to do that set lab organization, uh, Studies of Extraterrestrial Life and Answers from Beyond, back in, the, oh, the oh, mid to late 90s, you know, and and I'm glad that you guys have picked up the spirit investigation and paranormal stuff for South Texas uh, because uh, we got more into not so much the ghost side of things, but more into, you know, UFO hunting and, and sightings and of that kind of nature. So I, I find it very refreshing that you guys, uh, spirit investigators, are doing this stuff now and, and kind of, you know, taken up the torch if you will from from my old days and doing that in the 90s that that led to my radio career and and, and ultimately publishing the magazine and and here even now doing weird the weird uh, show uh, to this day but uh uh what's the response from folks in the valley from you guys fox well we certainly walked uh, some similar paths uh, uh-huh. russell mm-hmm. um you know we i personally you know do some UFO research, but uh, it, it's it's so broad. The paranormal field is so broad that yeah. uh, we try to focus on the on the spiritual things and more of consciousness, you know, and that type of thing. Right, but right on. The, yeah, the UFO, the UFO stuff sometimes, you know, creeps in. It kind of there's 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 a gray area there. Mm-hmm. Well, so I think there's have, I think there's a lot of a lot of people that are that are. Uh, hesitant to get involved and chase and chase those uh those uh those boogeyman in the nights in the in the night sky you know and and uh because uh, it's a it's a very dubious and very very uh uh ambiguous subject to study and and, and uh, i well, know that from from personal experience and and you know i sit out under the stars and, and, and out at night and look up and you know why can't we just see something weird out there just but, you know. Well, the truth is, Russell, that there is way more evidence that mm-hmm. proves the existence of ex- extraterrestrial life than there is the, the, on, the, on the spirit side. Uh huh. There is way more video out there. Yeah. And you know, these are physical beings, you know, from other dimensions that cross mm-hmm. over. You're able mm-hmm. to see them more often. Well, you know, I find the spirits what I find, are energy. You know what I find some of the most compelling stuff regarding UFOs is the whole. Uh, NASA STS uh, tapes uh, of the, 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 the NASA program, uh, you know, the space shuttle, uh, these tapes of footage that they capture themselves and, and broadcast. I mean, you can YouTube uh, NASA STS-48, STS-79, uh, the STS, uh, the, the NASA tether uh, case, and there's just so much out there on that UFO stuff that I just find right. it very, very compelling to right. to make the argument that we just might not be alone in the universe <laughs> there's there's way more there, there's really no uh there's just too much of it out there you know mm-hmm. when it comes to the spirit stuff it becomes a little more difficult because we're dealing with energy not physical beings right so so that's kind of why we you know focusing on that 
Well, and, you know, uh, what, what, was, you know, going back to some of the pop culture aspects of uh, ghost hunting and 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 all the TV shows that are going on, uh, I find it really interesting that there's a lot of television shows uh, out about this stuff right now. Um, although it's so ambiguous, every show, uh, Fox, and I'll get your opinion. I want to ask you your opinion about this because. I find that all the ghost hunting shows that are out there, they never really bring a lot of closure to an investigation, you know? What is your thoughts on all the shows? Um, it's very popular in uh, cable television to have these kinds of shows on your network. I myself have been involved on a couple of pilots over the years. Um, but it's in my experience and watching all these shows there never is a whole lot of closure and that's what keeps the viewers coming back am i warm fox well i think first and foremost i want to state that it's it's a good thing that it's it's out in the mm -hmm. uh, public masses it's uh, very mainstream it's a good thing for people to know and understand that there's way more beyond just this uh... limited existence that life is eternal mm -hmm. and that there's way more beyond the veil that's that's the first and foremost and that's that's a good thing that people are accepting this is a reality and uh you know we got kids nowadays that they're growing up in this environment so you know our next generation is going to be completely open to this and also as we're you know moving into these higher vibrations there's certainly going to be a lot more activity uh there's going to be a lot more it's going to be more obvious yeah, it is. It, it, it is, and I think that uh, future generations to come uh, will have to uh, carry the torch uh, for 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 this kind of alternative investigation. Uh, right. But you are right in saying that that you know it, it, that's that's a good thing. But I think that there's still a lot of room for improvement for shows that uh, feature teams or individuals who use more of a scientific method to take it from the paranormal to the normal because that's what it is mm -hmm. and you know and i think that a lot of the thing that the, what i i like that the stuff's out there and that it's all over cable tv networks nowadays i really find that it's it's more uh, entertaining to have those types of shows out there now but um the the ambiguous part of it that the fact that the, there's not a whole lot of closure to finding that that busting that ghost getting that ghost on camera that's what also kind of keeps people coming back to uh those ghost shows and and other other you know paranormal types of shows i think they're a hot item right now and and producers are clearly uh chiming in on that uh that cash cow uh so as long as it's ambiguous enough that they don't find something uh people will keep watching next week <laughs> am i right well i <laughs> Yeah, to a certain extent, I think that people are ready for something more and something yeah. bigger. And uh, you know, th these initial you know shows, I think are good just to get you know people's feet wet. Oh, I, but, I uh, think they're, they're great. They're, I just the, find the technology is advancing, mm -hmm. and the research has come a long way. And very soon, this is going to be out very, very obvious. You know, once once all the the specifics are identified as far as the ultraviolet range where we need to be looking at and we have equipment that's fine-tuned to look precisely where they're at then you know there's not going to be any questions hey let's get the phone number back up on screen real quick again uh and maybe we'll catch a call or two we got about oh i don't know seven minutes left on the program and i want to get uh, uh a chance to maybe give the callers a chance to call back in five one two uh, seven five four zero zero eight four uh, five one two seven five four zero zero eight four. We're live tonight here on the Weird Show, uh, live from San Marcos, Texas, and uh, our guest tonight is uh, Fox from Spirit Investigators from South Texas, and um, these guys have a, a, a interesting uh, job and duty of 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 investigating all things paranormal, spiritual, uh, you name it. Uh, 512-754-0084 is the phone number if you're watching tonight here on The Weird Show. We are live uh, this 27th day of, uh, of July. And um, anyways, just uh, uh, want to make sure the phone numbers get chimed out out there again. And we've got about oh, eight, eight, nine minutes left here on the program, Fox. And, and you know, man, uh, uh, I do think all the shows are great uh, that are, that are uh, out there. And uh, we do need more of those, and, and hell, maybe you and I will be on one one day. Who knows? Hey, let's go to the phone lines. Welcome to the I weird. I think that would be. A <laughs> Welcome to the weird show. You're on the air. Is this 
Mr. Dowden? Yeah, this is Russell. You're on the air with Fox from Spirit Investigators. What's your name? Uh, well, okay. Um, yeah, I was I was listening. I just uh, tuned in a little little while ago and, and caught the, uh, the the subject matter. And uh, actually, we've got a, a, a place here in town that uh, some of the, the, the people that work there say that, it, that there's something uh, upstairs that our, our little Tantra coffee shop has uh, 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 reportings from several different uh, employees and, and uh, so forth that uh, there's been some strange happenings. Uh, uh, a, a female apparition, uh, someone that uh, I know uh, that works there, says that. Uh, I mean, he's a very skeptical kind of a kind of a person, but he said, "Hey, I saw it. I saw it." Wow. Wow. Let's get. Uh, okay, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and drop the caller, and I'll get uh, I'll get uh, get you to chime in on that, uh, Fox. Uh, any any comment there? Is one of our coffee shops here in San Marcos having had some. Uh, Interesting experiences uh, upstairs. <laughs> Did well, those... I, you know that it's, it's happening more and more, uh, more often. There's way more reports now than ever, Russell. Yeah, uh, especially apparitions, uh, full body apparitions, completely dense, as you and myself coming through, and and people see them for that fleeting moment. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, anytime there's an old building or anything like that, you know, uh, uh, you never know. I mean, uh, I've heard some weird things uh, go uh, go bump in the night and many a many a night in uh, uh, some strange houses or you know relatives' houses, and I've seen rocking chairs move and, and experienced some kind of weird stuff myself over the years, and I have seen some UFOs. Uh, as well, I will say that, but I uh, I haven't uh, I haven't been like you know bitten by a ghost or anything. You know what I mean? People say that is it true? People get bit. Well, that's very rare. Uh huh. That's extremely rare that happens. But there is cases when uh, you know there there is people that report being scratched and that type of yeah, thing. Yeah, I've seen those shows and and. Uh, but you know there there is good and bad. You yeah. know, just yeah. as there's good and bad people. You yeah, know, we, we have we have a little bit of everything, but um, you know that's usually people just want to find out what's going on at their house. You know, they're they're seeing things or experiencing things, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but there are those reports. And yeah, those we are- handle we we don't we don't turn down any cases, Russell. We take on all the cases, whether mm-hmm. they're. You know, of a benevolent or a malevolent nature. Yeah. We try to investigate all that, and we try to offer our help to people. Um, you know, whether it's welcome to the weird that... show. You're on the air with uh, Fox from Spirit Investigators. Uh, who's calling? Hey, uh, this is the guy that was standing outside the window. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I saw. We got a couple of viewers outside checking out the, from the studio, watching the program on our monitors outside on here on the street. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you uh, out there. Uh, 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 checking out the show. Uh, do you have a question or comment for Fox from Spirit Investigators here on the Weird Show? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a friend, and uh, every time I go to his house, uh, I get these really weird vibes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then recently, I asked him if his house was haunted, and he actually told me yes that his. Uh, in his room, someone was shot and killed. So it was really interesting. I thought, uh, uh, yeah. I, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, Fox. I, I didn't quite hear the the question. Can you can you rephrase it real quick? Yeah, can, can, yeah. Can you repeat that caller? Yeah, sure. Uh, I was just saying. Uh, I went to my friend's house, and every time I would go to my friend's house, I would get these creepy vibes. Uh, and I didn't know what to, how to explain it, but uh, I, I asked him about it, and he said that somebody had been killed. So. Did, you, did you pick that up, Fox? Most people, most people now uh, are not perhaps as sensitive as Kaylee, where she sees spirits and sometimes hears them and, and that type of thing. But I think most of us are are sensitive enough to feel negative energies, whether we walk in a house or a place or an apartment. We we're pretty good with picking up on on those kind of energies, and you don't necessarily have to be psychic per se to pick on things up like that. So yeah, 
if if somebody was you know if there was uh, if there was a incident that that carried with it a lot of emotion or, or it was a traumatic event that holds that energy and so that can be there you know it's residual energy that stays there that uh, you know some people could tune into it but most of us do i think that you know most people that have had infestations that are 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 kind of negative per se when they have people over or you know people that are may may be skeptical or not or believers or non-believers you know you always hear the reports in those cases where you know it's like my friend came over he doesn't want to come over anymore because he felt something or you're sent something so usually when it's it's you feel the energy you feel this heavy energy and it's it's you know yeah so well, well cool yeah. anything <laughs> All right. Go. Anything else, caller? Oh, uh, that's just about it. Uh, I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad he agrees because I agree. Uh, I don't think I'm psychic, but I felt some bad energy for sure. So. Right on. Well, well, thanks. For right, and and if it's if it's. Go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead, Fox. Go ahead. I was just gonna add. I was, I was just gonna add to say that you know if it's something that's that's you know causing a lot of ruckus or you know it, it's creating you know a certain sense of fear or whatever you know it's always good to look into it and, and consider you know either going uh, to, you know to call a experienced paranormal group to look into it and uh, perhaps if it's something that uh, that you know is related to spirit activity or whatever then there's usually solutions for all that there's, there's things that could be done to bring peace to a home and um, so it's just about identifying what it is first, right. and then yeah. taking the necessary steps to, to to take care of it. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks cool. for your thanks for your call. I appreciate you watching the show from outside on the on the street there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was a good show. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. We had a, 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 a viewer watching from the street, and we flashed the phone number up on the screen, so he called in and talked to us. Uh, well, uh, that's as, awesome. <laughs> as people, um, you know, want to learn and know more about spirit investigators, uh, you know, what what can how can people get in touch with you guys uh, to learn more uh, about spirit investigators? Well, Facebook's always a good uh, a good place to start. Um, Facebook dot com slash spirit investigators, or you can send all inquiries and questions to info at spiritinvestigator.com info at spiritinvestigator.com and I understand there's a website that you're working on right now as well um, uh, Fox tell us uh, what's the future website going to be for you guys in the future well, our domain has always been a spiritinvestigator.com okay. that's singular okay but uh, we don't we don't have any uh, we don't have the website up yet Okay. But uh, we, we, we're doing right now, everything we're, we're presented so far is through YouTube. And that, again, is YouTube.com slash Spirit Investigators. Yep, and they've got them. I'll check them out on Facebook. Check them out on YouTube. Uh, check them out on their uh, Blog Talk Radio site as well. Uh, that uh, that is. On, and they uh, can always check us out on Weird Magazine, Russell. They can always <laughs> check it out. Check us out on page six yeah. of your magazine. I know, I know. <laughs> it's not overlooked that they're always in Weird Magazine as well. So, uh, anyway, the new magazine comes out on Monday. We look forward to that. And uh, Fox, thanks a lot. We're wrapping the show up here this evening. Thanks so much for being a part of the Weird Show tonight, my friend. It was a pleasure, Russell. Thanks a lot for having us on. No problem, man. Well, you take care, and we'll be in touch on Monday. Likewise. All right, have a man. great evening. All right, you too. Thank you so much. There he goes, and that's uh, Spirit Investigators. So we're uh, looking forward to uh, their uh, contribution, uh, contribution on Monday's edition of Weird Magazine. That's our August issue. And uh, stu stay tuned next week on the Weird Program when Dean Haglund will be on from TV shows X-Files talking about his new uh, documentary film uh, uh, about conspiracies. So uh, we've got him lined up next week on the program. So uh, we'll see you next week with Dean Haglund. I'm Russell Dowd for The Weird Show. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Rolling, 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 rolling